We make custom architectural walls and ceilings and furniture. My name is Liz Cordell. I'm one of the co-founders of Make Studio. Jose and I started this business in 2014 because as practicing architects, we were finding that some of the things that we were designing, the technology wasn't there to fabricate it. My name is Jose Aguilar. I'm the co-founder here at Make. We specialize in custom architectural fabrication, mainly feature walls and ceilings for commercial interiors. Everything starts with an idea, right? When we start initial stages, we use 3D printing. And then we take that into our machines in the shop, from CNC to thermoforming, anything really that gets that idea built. The Gigabot is kind of core to our DNA of how we do things here, in our sales efforts, our marketing efforts, to actually solving problems to our clients. In my years of practice in architecture, one of the hardest things was showing a rendering to a client, and then when they got the final product, they were a little surprised. That wasn't what they were anticipating. With a 3D print, you are able to communicate an idea much more clearly to a client. They know what they're getting, and there's no surprises, and they're really happy in the end because they don't feel like there was any miscommunication. The ability to 3D print has changed the way that we do business with some of our clients because they're able to visualize things much quicker in a more tangible way. So there's buy-in faster, the project goes faster, they save time and money, and usually the project will happen. Sometimes it may or may not happen based off of a rendering, but if they've got a physical model in their hand, it's a little more like, I want this. The Gigabot is really core to how we do things here. You know, we always want to print a little bigger, a little faster. This was actually a really great aspect of Gigabot that was able to do that. It really helps help us keep up with where the industry is going, where technology is going, and how do we invest in this technology in the future. 